Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. I've called it uh, Chemo or Quick uh, Emulator. Uh, in this series, we will learn about uh, emulation and how we can use it in our daily activities. Uh, actually, I have planned several topics in this series. The first one uh, is in this video. It's just uh, a brief introduction about emulation and the uh, chemo. In the next video, we will talk about uh, user mode where we will compile a binary forearm and then running in our environment. In the third video, we will see how we can use a GDB uh, with the uh, user mode. And in the fourth uh, video, we will uh, emulate uh, a complete uh, system. Uh, in this case, it will be Raspberry Pi board. And in the final uh, video, we will see how we can use uh, GDB to debug, for example, the Linux kernel running on a Raspberry Pi uh, board. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, I will be using uh, uh, Ubuntu in this uh, series, uh, as you can uh, see here. It's uh, uh, Ubuntu, the most recent one, and the kernel version is uh, 6.8. Uh, so what is, um, what is emulation? Emulation is a technique uh, that allows a software designed for one architecture to run on a different system uh, known as the host, which doesn't natively support that architecture. For example, in this, uh, image here we have a binary which is compiled for an arm and we want to run it on our host which is in this case uh, Intel 64. Usually this doesn't work because they are two different uh, architecture but this is possible when using an emulator because emulator translate uh, the targeted software code into instruction that our host here can understand so this somehow uh, gives the uh, ARM binary or any kind of uh, targeted software here uh, the illusion that it is running on its uh, original uh, platform. So emulation is helpful in scenarios where hardware is not available or resources is limited. We, we don't want to spend more money or even if we have the desire to create um, Kind of customized version of an already existing existing uh, device uh, chemo or emulation uh, might help with that and also in, in cyber security because emulation uh, provides an isolated and control environment uh, this allow uh, researchers to safely uh, analyze uh, uh, malware in order to understand their their behavior and also uh, it is useful if we want to, for example, debug a kernel, firmware, whatever uh, emulation uh, helps with that. Um, why did I choose uh, a chemo? Actually, because chemo is the most uh, uh, common emulator and to be honest, the, the one I'm familiar with. So if we go to their uh, website, uh, they describe it as a generic and open source machine emulator and uh, virtualizer. So it's an open source uh, project. Uh, if you go to their uh, GitHub, you see here all the uh, source code for uh, for Chemo. And uh, how Chemo does this uh, translation? Uh, actually, when Chemo receive uh, a binary from one architecture. As usual, it try to translate it into uh, an instruction for the architecture where uh, Chemo is running on. However, instead of directly translating from one specific architecture to another, so from ARM to Intel or ARM to uh, PowerPC, uh, Chemo use a, a module called TCG or Tiny Code uh, Generator to translate uh, the targeted uh, architecture into what is called as uh, intermediate representation, which is this kind of um, architecture agnostic. So there is no, as I said, no direct uh, translation from one architecture to the other. And once uh, the target software instruction are transformed into uh, intermediate representation, then chemo will translate this uh, IR instructions 
into a host specific instruction where the host operating system can uh, can understand it so in general for each architecture here uh, the instructions are disassembled and one or more maybe uh, IR or intermediate uh, representation are generated because of course uh, some scenarios like uh, some instruction cannot be directly translated so uh, chemo will, will um, use kind of helper function in order to simulate or emulate the behavior of this uh, uh, this instruction so sometimes there is no mapping like one 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 to one so uh, a little bit the comparison between uh, e emulation and virtualization so emulation the emulator runs uh, as a process uh, in the host operating system as uh, we have seen here so uh, the emulator is just a process within the uh, Linux uh, operating uh, system and uh, of course it allows uh, software from different architecture to run on the host and it is slower because uh, all of this uh, translation happened uh, virtualization is a little bit different if I want to mention the uh, bare metal hypervisor it's run one level lower than the kernel and the virtualized uh, system must have the same architecture as the host and of course it is uh, faster uh, installing uh, chemo actually it's very easy when we go to the download page on their website uh, there are multiple options to download uh, chemo you can do it from the uh, source code by git clone the uh, github repository and build it or on windows or mac os or in our case uh, the linux uh, uh, open tool uh, so all you need to do is to run uh, this two command uh, this is one for uh, when we want to emulate a system and the other one is when uh, user mode so it's just one uh, binary uh, in my case I already uh, installed every day everything so uh, they are up and running so if I do list uh, user uh, binary and um, let's take uh, chemo a system for example and you will see all the uh, architecture are uh, already here so okay this is uh, a short video just uh, to prepare for uh, the next video we we'll, where we will uh, combine a, a binary for an arm and use a user mode in order to uh, run it uh, I highly recommend that you uh, follow along and do um, uh, this exercise so you just need to install uh, chemo in your uh, virtual or in machine uh, thank you for uh, watching now and i will see you in the next video so bye bye